got a small sausage roll. Isn't this cottage just gorgeous? Good morning! Good morning! Today, Yuck and I are exploring traditional fishing villages and towns in beautiful Cornwall. Yes, and we're here in Mavagissi. Yes. Which has a really beautiful harbour. Not only that, Yuck just said, like the moment we came here, he said it smells of like Cornish pasties everywhere. Yes, and it's just wonderful. <laughs> it really is. And well, yeah, this is the land of Poldo, Daphne du Maurier, and for us Germans, we pronounce it German, Rosa Munde Pilcher. Yes, everybody knows her in Germany. Yes, we have films on German TV. We've been watching the films for, I don't know, maybe 30 years. Yeah. So yeah. It's really great to be here. We love Cornwall so much. So, yeah, we hope you will enjoy this video. A lady who lives here just told us it's so beautiful. She's been living here all her life and she said she never tires of it. I can totally get it. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if you can see it. This house here one would be our dream because it's overlooking the sea and I think in the winter time when it's cold and stormy you can just sit and watch and enjoy your time. We have the best weather, sunny spells, not too warm. I think there will be a bit of rain tomorrow. That's why we picked today to explore the area. It's really, really nice. This is the UK, very narrow roads, just one lane and <laughs> we're really used to it now. This is what happens. That shop looked so amazing that we went inside and bought. So, um, <laughs> you have to take them out, then yep. we can show them. It's That's strawberry cream. Yeah. <laughs> rum raisin. Oh yes. Yeah. And that's no way. Traditional, traditional. Yeah, it's um, clotted cream. Clotted cream. It looks amazing. So the shop is called the Cornish Fudge Shop. You're trying strawberry cream. Yeah, I'm trying it please. Mm-hmm. It smells divine. Good. Mm. Let me let me try it as well. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Mmm. 
we haven't had fudge in such a long time and when you're in Cornwall you have to try it it's good are you tempted to go to Mary's pasties do you want I'm to go then I'm going okay <laughs> you're determined yeah, okay Mary's pasties you didn't go for a pasty. Yeah, but we're too big. I've got a small sausage roll. A small. Uh, well, it's it's not small. Yeah. You're you're falling, <laughs> you're falling all of us because it's very big. Look, it's it's that long. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know, twenty centime mm -hmm. a twenty centimeter sausage roll. Good. <laughs> It is a tad windy. Yeah, a bit windy here. So we're now in Charlestown, which is famous, well, not not only for Paul Dark, but yeah. most of us know Paul Dark. Yes, if you've seen or if you've watched Paul Dark, you will recognize the harbour. Exactly, and it's a beautiful harbour. We will show you in a second. It's from the Georgian period. It's really, really yes. striking. Yes, it was used to load and unload copper uh -huh. and uh, I think later on uh, China clay. Yes, yes. It's really, really nice. Last time we were here, they were actually filming scenes for Paul yeah. Dog, yeah. which was amazing. So, on the other hand, we can now go. Let me show you. Now, this is the amazing harbour and last time we were here, they were filming down there, so it was closed this time we can have a look and there seems to be a bulldog stand we have to check that out yeah it's really really nice it's a gorgeous harbor and also there are lots of houses holiday cottages and yeah we'll check it out yeah. see the bulldog stand they sell whiskey cider and um, ale i thought it would have something to do with the, with the series yeah maybe paul Doc's hat <laughs> so these cottages are traditional fisher cottages they have a lovely pastel color and i think most of them are actually holiday cottages This cottage just gorgeous. I, I love the rose. Yeah. And the pastel colours, the other cottages. And the postbox must be from the 30s. Yes. This is from Georgia. From one of the Georges. Yes. From, from Queen Elizabeth's father. Yeah. So this one is actually for sale and I will check it out in a minute. I bet it's really, really expensive. This is a very nice holiday accommodation called Beach Retreat. I will link that for you in the info box in case you're interested. Don't really know how good it is but it looks quite nice also has a little private garden and the harbour is down there Now this ship called Kaysamore, sorry about that, it's Norwegian actually. That was used in Poldark and also the series Taboo, in case you watch that. you see that? These boats were built by Charlestown Harbour for the TV series Hornblower. Yeah. 
that we absolutely love. We love Hornblower. I think we need to rewatch it. <laughs> yes. And also, Paul Dirk Taboo. What's that? Ammonite? That's a film. Did we watch that? Uh, no, we no, haven't. No. Please. We haven't. Well, isn't that with Kate Winslet? Yes, yes Kate Winslet and you know the other person but um okay now we have reason to watch it it's just such a gorgeous and unique harbor well we won't be buying alcohol i thought it would have something to do with the series some i don't know like paintings or pictures something like that we're now in foy. We pronounce it foy to rhyme with joy. It's a very pretty harbour town. Such elegant houses here in Foy. And the view they have. So if you sit here on this little balcony, you get this view. So tonight we're going to have fish and chips at this place. <laughs> a big portion of fish and chips for Jörg and for me a small portion. That's the big one. Okay, that's huge. Yeah, it's okay. How much was this? Do you remember? 8.50 or something. Mm -hmm. And the chips are, do something. Do something. That's the small one. And that's totally fine. Can you manage all of it? Not sure. So that's what's left of the, the small fish and chips version yep. and I'm completely full. I'm done. But it was good. Very windy. And it's now, how many degrees? It says 60. It doesn't feel like it. No. 
it feels really really cold because the sun is gone the sun is gone yeah, yeah. you're really freezing now ah, i'm full but boy it's so nice it feels really i don't know about a lot of elegant houses yeah really really no, gorgeous boys, like. yeah boy, 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 like boy, boy, boy like, like joy boy, boy. Isn't this amazing? We're in Lost Withiel today, which is also known as the antiques capital of Cornwall. It's only about a mile from the gorgeous cottage we're staying at. And in case you haven't watched that video, you should check it out. This is strawberry and mint. Oh, I thought you would love that. That's yeah? great. See. I love that. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Oh yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. It's actually it's very big, isn't it? Big ice cream. That's what I deserve today. You do. We have a little bit of rain now and we saw that there is an actual antique center but we won't be going there today because it's past four o'clock so it will be closing down soon but it's fine Jörg had his ice cream that he really enjoyed that was his treat for the weekend and yeah Today we are in Porpero, which is a historic fishing village. Looks so different to all the other fishing villages we have visited so far. It's really nice to explore something new. over there but I said to him he should be careful because we have high tide now so <laughs> the water is coming in. We stopped for lunch because we hardly had any breakfast and this is um, smoked, hot smoked mackerel salad. We both have the same. This is where we had lunch, the house on the props. It's also a bed and breakfast. Yeah. We're heading home now. 
it, it was so worth coming here. And I can't believe how lucky we were with the weather, so I hope you liked it. There's so many incredible places to explore in Cornwall, so we always only scratch the surface. So thank you so much for watching and as always, we'll see you again very soon. So until next time, bye.